Here is the poem, which I call Pike. Pike, three inches long, perfect pike in all parts, green tigering the gold. Killers from the egg, the malevolent aged grin. They dance on the surface among the flies. Or move, stunned by their own grandeur, over a bed of emerald, silhouette of submarine delicacy and horror, a hundred feet long in their world. In ponds, under the heat-struck lily pads, gloom of their stillness. Logged on last year's black leaves, watching upwards, or hung in an amber cavern of weeds, the jaws hooked clamp and fangs, not to be changed at this date, a life subdued to its instrument, the gills kneading quietly, and the pectorals. Three we kept behind glass, jungled in weed, three inches, four, and four and a half, fed fry to them. Suddenly there were two, finally one, with a sag belly and the grin it was born with. And indeed they spare nobody. Two, six pounds each, over two feet long, high and dry and dead in the willow herb. One jammed past its gills down the other's gullet. The outside eye stared as a vice locks, the same iron in this eye, though its film shrank in death. A pond I fished, fifty yards across, whose lilies and muscular tench had outlasted every visible stone of the monastery that planted them, still legendary depth. It was as deep as England. It held pike too immense to stir, so immense and old that past nightfall I dared not cast, but silently cast and fished with the hair frozen on my head for what might move, for what I might move. The still splashes on the dark pond, owls hushing the floating woods, frail on my ear against the dream darkness beneath night's darkness had freed, that rose slowly towards me watching.